These all the vehicles that have come on the convoy. Approximately at least 40 vehicles here. MashaAllah. We're on our way to Germany and then Austria. Inshallah. <laughs> It's Friday the 18th of September 2015. This is Ashad from One Nation. We just entered the camp in Kale. Um, these are the conditions that people are living in. Just entered the camp uh, and uh, there's tents everywhere. approximately 5,000 people are living in these tents from different areas um, from North Africa uh, and from uh, Iraq, from Afghanistan Assalamualaikum uh Friday the 18th September, where we're in Calais, jungle, the refugee camp. As you can see, the situation is very bad. And there's that masjid, Masjid Abu Bakr, that we've seen the picture. So our team is just, in, uh, just entered the refugee camp in Calais. And as you can see, there's people sleeping in tents. The conditions are really, really bad. Uh, it's very dirty as well. These are the first scenes that we are seeing as we arrive on the refugee camp here in Calais and uh, as we walked through uh, the uh, start of the, uh, the camp we saw the conditions, uh, the conditions here are very unhealthy um, there's some toilets which are based just down the, the side over there uh, which are regularly cleaned and told by one of the brothers here um, now I opened the door to one of the toilets there and I must say the toilets were not in good condition whatsoever. These people are living in very difficult circumstances here. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, we've got to France now. We're in Calais. Alhamdulillah, we've just arrived and we've just visited the camp. And now um, we we meet with Sister Maya and she's one of the NGO here and she'll t give us an update here at the moment the situation at the Kali um, jungle as they say how am I okay hello hello I'm Maya so I am a member of L'Auberge des Migrants which is a local NGO that uh, is attempting to organize uh, the gigantic amount of uh, uh, donations that are arriving from everywhere in the UK and Ireland Holland Belgium and we have huge amounts of arriving we are extremely thankful however uh, we just rented a warehouse at the beginning of the week which is already by the by next week it will be full so really we don't need anything right this at this moment the only thing that we are going to start doing next week in a hurry is build proper shelters for the 4,000 people that are here today and they probably be more the numbers are slowly climbing 
uh, it's not a huge number compared to the number of refugees that are everywhere in Europe. So I think it's very important that many people go down south and out, out east and deliver goods uh, wherever they are needed because here there's only 4,000 people. Uh, however, uh, if uh, you care to help us, we need money to build those proper shelters. We're going to do that with wood and uh, very strong tarpaulins and we have a team working on doing that and our aim is to build shelters for 2,500 people in two months. Right. Okay. Thank you very much, Maya and your team. Uh, we just got a few members of the team now, they're going to Dunkirk to distribute some aid um, to the refugees there. Uh, some of the other team members, they're going to be traveling over uh, to Germany and Austria, inshallah. So, Jazakallah care to everybody, Jazakallah care to all the volunteers who have driven all this way. And also, want to make it easy for everybody to deliver the amana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Imran from One Nation. We are at in Germany, born in the charity called Medicine Dits Hayat, meaning in English, medicine from the heart. These brothers, mashallah, are from various countries, from um, from Bel, from Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, a few various places. Alhamdulillah, they've been running this charity for quite a while now loading up the vehicles for heading towards Austria tonight inshallah and then mashallah look at all this alhamdulillah I think we've got four vehicles they are being loaded up and hopefully inshallah we'll head tonight come back tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon load them up again and then head within Germany itself because there are at least thousand people living in and around this area in sports centers. So hopefully inshallah your amanat will get to these brothers and sisters as well that need it. Okay, salam alaikum. Salam alaikum brothers, this is One Nation. Uh, Alhamdulillah your amana has reached to the destination in Germany, Bonn. Hopefully, inshallah, we will unload all this within the next couple of hours and then reload them back into smaller vans and they head towards Austria, inshallah, which is about six, seven hours drive from here. And then, inshallah, distribute the amana that you kindly have donated with a lot of uh, qurbani and sacrifices, mashallah, uh, to all the needy refugees, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, this is Brother Tahir. One of the drivers, mashallah, brother Ali from Bradford, myself, Imran from Jewelry, and these are brothers, mashallah, from Germany. This is brother Ibrahim who actually lives in Leicester, but he's back in Germany, mashallah. Brother, your name is? Osman. Osman. Hamza. Hamza. Muhammad Amin. Muhammad Amin, mashallah. These are brothers, strong brothers, mashallah, going to empty all this with us. And hopefully, inshallah, get it to the right directions, inshallah. This is Imran, One Nation. Assalamu alaikum. brothers. Brother Maksud, Brother Omar Bhai, uh, we are just uh, heading over to Austria. We've got a long journey now, we've got about 10 hours journey. Zakala care to all the brothers so far. Zakala care to Anubarak Radio also. Brother Maksud, any words? Tired. Tired? Yes. Very tiring. Very Umar, Umar Bhai, any words? Very, very tiring. But I have to okay. say, uh, mashallah, the organization from One Nation has been absolutely exceptional uh, at the borders. Uh, people waiting uh, as well on arrival. Mashallah, a good team uh, set up a good network of team. Mashallah, distribution uh, went very, very well. Excellent, I have to say. It's uh, your donations, people who donated from all parts of the country, all over the world, 
Jazakallah khair, brothers and sisters. This is an update from One Nation and Ummarag Radio. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, these are all the aid vehicles which have arrived from the UK to support the brothers and sisters here in Vienna. As you can see, we have many vehicles full of aid. Inshallah, the refugees here should not go without any support. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the aid vehicles are now leaving to the various locations so they can deliver aid to the most needy. Everything has been very well coordinated with the NGOs on the ground and the volunteers which have come all the way from the UK from various other locations within Europe. We're just on the border of uh, Hungary and Austria. We just come to this camp. There is a lot of refugees inside. We're sleeping in uh, beds. So they're sleeping. Uh, we'll come over from Syria to other countries. Subhanallah, so look at the situation here. Assalamu alaikum. You come from London? Assalamu alaikum. Sima. Sima. I have Sima. How old? Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, just look at the situation of the refugees here. This is one of the camps that are here. Distributing aid. This is the children staying here. Allah Akbar. Look at the situation here. This is Hungary Austria border. Right now, with the One Nation team, delivery aid. This is people. Allah Akbar. Can you smell the Jinnin at the end? Allah Akbar. The can you smell the Jinnin with cheek? The tissue with cheek. They uh, uh, get together the food here, supplies, and then they, they feed the, the people here. Clothing gets delivered here from one nation, food, supplies, to some of the volunteers here, mashallah. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi We just see one of the camps um, just on the Austria-Hungary border, just doing some distribution now. We're giving out the clothes. Five minutes we're going, okay? Five minutes we're going. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh, mashallah, with the Qurans here as well. Do you have the Qurans here? Alhamdulillah. Exactly. Mashallah. Mashallah. Do you have the food here as well? Hey, Quran, 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 I'm <laughs> Only eight being distributed to the refugees here. It's a uh, chaotic scenes. <laughs> refugees from all over um, from different countries. Do some more distribution from another van. Handing out blankets and uh, toiletries to the ladies. Just uh, giving out, just giving out the Qurans to refugees here. And then when they come back, give them a few more boxes. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. This is Imran from One Nation. Alhamdulillah, we have reached at the border of uh, Croatia and Slovenia where there are at least three to four hundred refugees. They are a mixture of uh, Syrians, Afghanis, Iraqi, a few Kurdish, a few other places. What we've learned today is that when the Syrians do come, they do get the majority of them ushered around other places and then the majority of these camps are left with um, from different other nationalities. We are by some few authority people have been told that they are expecting at least about two to three thousand people today 
to come through this border because this is the only border which is left open for the Syrians to go through. All the other borders around the different countries have been closed permanently for now. We will be inshallah meeting up with a couple of coordinators around here from different kind of charities and groups or individual people and then hopefully inshallah distributing uh, your Omana uh, accordingly to their needs inshallah All the brothers mashallah hard at it now shall we get to the end of the game Unfortunately, it's just a painstaking uh, task that we need to get done, inshallah. Brother from Medina meets Hertz, Dr. Saab, mashallah, he's looking after going around, see if anybody needs any medical aid. Assalamu alaikum, this is Imran from One Nation. Alhamdulillah, we are near to the end of our operation of um, taking the goods out your amana and putting them in the tent systematically so we can hopefully inshallah distribute it accordingly we have got a lot of uh, local help alhamdulillah as well uh, we have we have seen that a lot of uh, refugees are not from syria but they're from afghanistan and iraq and a few other places but alhamdulillah khair, inshallah we will give whatever they need and whoever they need we most need inshallah um, the brothers from Germany have actually gone now, they've done what they needed to do, now we are left over here inshallah, hopefully we will be leaving this place after we've uh, distributed all the goods inshallah. Any kind words for, uh, for people back home? Yeah, as you can see, mashallah, there's loads of aid, uh, next time you can donate towards you can come here instead and help sort out this. Inshallah. Because there's too much aid. Local people have been brilliant. They're helping organize. They're bringing loads of stuff. Molana, any kind words? Jazakallah for everyone who has donated. Mashallah, it's a huge response from uh, England. May Allah give you all barakah. Amin. Uh, but inshallah, we're just waiting for the refugees once they arrive. Inshallah, all this stuff will uh, be, be distributed. Coming inshallah. Coming, coming to good use. Inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Mashallah. Jazakumullah. Alhamdulillah, as you can see, we put the tents up, these are our tents, these are our stuff, all the way from England, and now we've emptied, the, we've emptied seven vehicles here, and after this, we're going to sort everything out, inshallah, we're hoping to another two to three thousand refugees will be coming soon here, and this aid will be... Will be... Uh, distributed, will be distributed inshallah. between them, inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Molana and Imran out. Don't give any out. Bro, don't give him. Huh? He's got one. He's got one now. Some cans here. These are some of the items you donated yourself from all the teams to Bedford, to Leicester, to High Wycombe, um, to all the sisters. Yeah, yeah. Where um, are I'm from Leicester. So, yeah. Uh, I'm Yeah, I Tuna, chickpeas and potato. <laughs> yeah, I would know I cooked it. <laughs> and obviously the brother helped. No, 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 no. But yeah, no, no, no. But the Usman there, now they've joined up. Um, the other school finished quickly. Now, now, now they've um, joined up. Usman is having out the food. I'm sorry, I don't want to get anyone, anybody in the video. But yeah, uh, they love curry. Mashallah, they love curry. It was very exciting. We're here inside the train station now. As you can see, people are passing by. There's some food stalls here. Everyone is welcome. 
and to help themselves to whatever they feel like having. Um, <laughs> you drop the um, basic clothes off here, yeah, and they get piled up into sizes and stuff like that. They get piled up and rained up, and people just come pick the clothes. Um, I don't want to record everyone because um, I don't want to be rude or intrude uh, someone's personal space. You know, um, it, it's, it's not nice to record people, but trust me. Look, I'll get the back of someone. Look, on the rail there, can you see? Yeah? Sure, sure. On the rail there, look, people just select it according to what sizes they want and stuff. So it's really, really, really good. Yeah, it's a really, really good setup. There's jumpers here, there's jackets, the shirts. It's done really, really nicely, look. Yeah? And uh, it's done according to size, and then they lift it up. Um, many, many of your aid, many of your aid has already been sorted and most likely has been already been given out. Um, yes, yes, this like this is another stall where they give out toilet trees to everyone. Um, can you show please? Yeah? So you've you got basically uh, toothpaste and stuff, you've got toothbrushes, shower gels, and everything. Yeah? There's many, many stalls like this for food, clothing, toiletries, water, wh whatever it is. So keep up your donations and keep up the support. Thank you. We're now inside the station. This area here is where they distribute in baby food and toiletries. Okay, so anything that you've sent in boxes is sorted in the channel there and it's, dis it's split up in separate boxes, distributed here. Um, here's a kitchen here, they're delivering anything from fresh fruit to hot meals. Uh, the hot meals are not being cooked here, they can't do no cooking here. The hot meals are being provided by local people or people that are travelling to the area and getting apartments and using the cooking facilities there and delivering it here in pots. As you can see, as we're passing through, there's a lot of people sitting down. They're sitting here with hope that they're going to meet up with relatives. You can see on the wall there's pictures of people missing. Okay, other facilities that are here, there's information. Uh, there's a chance to get SIM cards for free here. Other things that are going on, people have got their name tags, under their name tag they have their language that they speak so they're able to help them translate and give the, the aid that the person requires. Okay, this area here is also a kitchen. They just go for a transition at the moment. They've stopped doing the hot food, any hot food they've got in the distributed now. So what they're doing now is making sandwiches at the back as you can see. Uh, they'll wrap those in for they'll be distributed later on in the evening. Uh, people tend to bring hot food during the daytime, so they, that's the reason why they make sandwiches in the evening. They uh, give charging points. Assalamu alaikum. Muhammad, you're the old boy, I need a boy. Little boy, who's out there? How old are you? Let's see. And just leave it for now, move to the next one. Any more boys? Eat my brack everybody. It's been a it's been a hard morning. We're just on our way back now to the kitchen to fill up all these pots here. So anything that you've been sending, vegetarian, 
any rice, any lentils, any kidney beans. It's all being used at a local temple uh, where we've got access to a big kitchen. And uh, they're all doing the cooking for us, allowing us to use their, their van. And then we bring it here to the station at Hapanoff in Vienna. And we distribute all the food then to the refugees. I will say thank you for the people who make this donation. Jazakumullah khairan. Say it in Germany. In Germany, we say yeah. Danke schön. That means Jazakumullah khairan. That means thank you very much. Uh, the, the most important things, my sister and my brother in, in East London, that the people, the refugees who come, our our guests here in Germany, they will notice that their brothers and sisters thought about okay. them and they come all of these miles and kilometers to give them something. This is the most important thing. The items is not important. The spiritual also that the people think about their brothers and sisters. This is the most important thing. Please make dua and we will make dua for you inshallah. And inshallah. see each other inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.